Hello everybody. Today I decided to make a third video uh, from the uh, from the series of videos about my paintings, and um, this time I chose um, this painting which you can see above my head. I hope that view is good enough. And the painting's uh, name is uh, Death Chasing Time. And uh, my goal in the videos is uh, to explain a little bit my visual language in the paintings uh, because uh, I really try to um, a lot of time use, use allegories or symbolism and, and um, of course through the visual uh, media to convey uh, like very important meaning, very important for me and I think uh, the, this meaning might be important for everyone because uh, each of us are um, sometimes probably asking these um, extremely sensitive questions uh, such as uh, who am I or um, what's my goal in the life, where I'm going, what's my destination and uh, like will the life end with the death so this painting kind of uh, about that and inspiration for this painting came actually from um, a grave from cemetery engraving which was done in like 19th centuries and I found it uh, this grave stone with engraving in Lithuania, which is a small country in Europe. So, and of course it was um, meant um, to show how fragile and fleeing life is and the, the painting's name and also that engraving's name was um, Death Chasing Time. So in this large painting, which was done quite a while ago, like maybe in early 2000, very early 2000s, and it took me about three months. And um, I really, it for me personally, it really doesn't matter when that painting was done a long time ago, because the themes I try to talk about in my paintings are I consider you know eternal for us for human beings so it's not some kind of like painting of of the pop culture or some decorative item but uh, it's it's just a meaningful painting like a book and i hope uh, it it stays you know important for a very long time that's my hope as a painter so in this painting you see the two very large figures uh, main figures and one of them is deer the deer is running and uh, deer represents fleeing time the time is always running, running, running. We are running out of time. And uh, the reality or never stays the same. The past is gone, future is such uncertain. And this moment, now moment, is very fragile and not long lasting. So it's, it's always, it's, it, when it's here, it's gone. When it's here, it's gone. So another figure chasing the deer is um, uh, symbolized um, as a grim reaper or death in the, in the form of skeleton. So grim reaper is uh, on the horse, it's running after time and trying to kill it. So uh, time is running and death is chasing. Death is also representation, as a grim reaper is representation of the... Um, Kala, that's a Sanskrit word, or time. So it's like Kala Rupa, or, you know, figure of, of eternal time slash death. 
So, uh, yes, it shows uncertainty of our material existence, this painting, and fragility of our life. And um, the painting, these figures are in uh, the massive uh, landscape, this big open sky, and it shows that it's, it's, it's not just localized and just meaningful to some few of us, but it, it's just, um, it's the similarly important to all of us. And um, that this painting, I um, created with the reason, you know, to contemplate about the temporality of existence for myself, of course, but at the same time, um, have a conversation with my viewer and uh, the painting as a media, it's very powerful. And especially when symbols are incorporated because these symbols and allegory and on in the painting on this two dimensional space can talk so much and few images can um, say thousands of words and and uh, people could you know go deeper and deeper into painting go into details and uh, read it as a book but in the very short time and supposedly symbolism um, it goes directly into subconscious mind affects the people and um, it really talks uh, in different much deeper language than uh, even uh, written words so my goal as a painter you know to talk to converse with people have constantly um, th that uh, visual dialogue so uh, this is one of the paintings and i hope it's gonna last forever <laughs> i hope everybody every artist dream that is so um that's probably oh okay i just wanted uh, also to explain one more thing you know the opening in the sky uh, usually i really like to do the skies dark skies in my paintings and um, a lot of clouds in my paintings are like kind of um repetitively round and usually there is opening in the sky and what that opening represents it kind of gives that answer um the final answer in my painting because all other scene is pretty gruesome and pretty maybe thought provoking and could be even um, could even make people depressed because if we just think about this duality, uh, temporality, the death, uh, uh, you know, it's it's quite sad. So I just try to give hope too. So the opening represents um, uh, universal consciousness or God or absolute uh, truth, or the different reality be, be, uh, beyond the illusion of duality and material existence. So there is other re reality, as uh, a lot of wise people say, and that reality can be ex cannot be experienced through our external senses. It, it only can be experienced through, you know, spiritual practices such, a me such as meditation, chanting of the names of God, deep prayer. So, and, and we as individuals are not, uh, as much as we seem, as the bodies, bodies is not all we are. We are like spiritual beings, small spiritual 
tiny spiritual sparks or of complete whole and through the um, a path of meditation the prayer chanting the holy name we can uh, realize our true uh, self lots of people done it a lots of yogis done it a lot of holy saints from different parts of the world done it so it can be done and that's um how we can conquer this grim reaper this kala rupa eternal time and that's probably uh, all i have to say about this painting in few words <laughs> i could talk a lot about technique too and uh, all this glazing the multiple layers a little um, landscape details in the background but again i'm like really interested and really like to present the most important meaning of the painting because the painting it's 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 my spiritual process it's when i was 15 i decided to be a painter and and that that's when i chose the path part of the path to think to com contemplate to converse with people about the meaning of the life about the search of our true self thank you very much for watching please push like if you like the video or even uh, subscribe if you wish i wish you very beautiful blessed day full of art and creativity god bless bye bye